my channel. How are you doing? I am uh, saying goodbye to my scream ghost faced oh, bag today. Like, how does that face not turn you on? I mean, look at it. It's sexy as hell. That was a joke. I mean, seriously though, ghost face mask. I mean, don't creep up to me in the middle of the street and be like, I know you want this, because I don't want that. I don't want that. Today I am going to swap my bag. Well, I'm going to do a what's in my bag, but I'm going to swap my bag over. So I have had this bag for about two years. I can't remember. I got it from a shop called Bleeding Marvelous. Um, I get a lot of like horror stuff from there. They handmade this. I have lots of like bits around me from Bleeding Marvelous. They are my favorite little horror store. They don't just do horror, they do like film, TV, merch. But like this backpack I got from there and it has freaking done me well. The only reason I am changing bags is because my rats have chewed through the strap of this one. This has not broken. I am so rough with my bags. Like I will chuck it everywhere over my shoulder, boulder holder. And this is still going strong. I don't know how, but I'm not gonna question it, but I am gonna question it. How? But today, I'm gonna swap it over. Like Ghostface, you're always on my mind. So Bleeding Marvelous is owned by a lovely, lovely lady called Dan. And she very, very kindly sent me this bag, which I have been bragging about to you guys for what feels like forever. But I, I just, do you know what? I just don't change my bags. I keep this, I, I did a bag wall. I decorated my studio with a bag wall, but I do not change my bag. I will keep the same bag until it is unusable. And then I will swap it and I will keep the same bag until it is unusable. I'm not someone who swaps their bags over to fit their outfits. But maybe I should be because then I end up like looking all my pictures are exactly the same because it's like the same black outfit with the same bag like mm, girl mix it up a little bit add a bit of spice really really quickly because I did a haul and I told you all about the bags in there but you marvelous have just got these post-mortem bags in they are interchangeable bags I'm gonna wear it as a shoulder bag which I never do I'm a backpack bitch till I die but I fancy a change. I've had a backpack for two years. When I wear a puffer coat, I'm the same height as my daughter and it looks like we are school kids. I'm gonna have a handbag for a while. And uh, with this bag, you can change the front of it. I spoke more about it in my haul video, which I will link at the end of this, but um, they have poppers on and you pop it on the faces and there are so many. There's gothy ones, there is the band Ghost. There's loads of ghost ones. I told my friend and she was like, oh, I fucking love Ghost! Look at that. I got this one and then I got Sam's gorgeous little face. Pretty much all my wardrobe is black, so I'm gonna stick with this face for now. Like I said, I'm gonna keep the single strap, but it did come with two straps and low and six d rings so i can change it to a backpack very easily if i want to so let's go through my backpack this is so heavy and let's sort it out plus i did the school run this morning and it was pouring with rain and i'm pretty sure everything in this bag is now wet because i don't like if i go outside in the rain i won't come home and like empty my bag and be like oh well it was raining i should dry my bag out i'm like no, this is what the inside of my bag looks like. Hopefully there's nothing rude. Let's uh, let's get into it. I have a safety pin on there and I have a I Am Knuff Barbie movie pin, which has all got bent and isn't, like doesn't badge the way a badge should badge anymore. It got caught on so many things, but it has, it has stayed on there. So I, it's holding on, so I'm holding on, and we're gonna hold on together. Keep holding on. First thing in my backpack, from one bag to another, a fan. I work in a very sweaty bar, and it gets really, really hot. I got this neck fan off, I think, eBay or Amazon, or I don't know. I've had it for a couple of years, and it is a game changer. You, ch I, I might need to charge it, but you hear that? It's gonna mess up my hair. It goes around like that and then it just <sighs> puffs air at you while you're working and it's so good. I mean it's great for just like being around the house. All my hair's coming out. 
just ignore that. If I get too hot, I get headaches. So it's very important that I keep my temperature regulated. I know it's really weird. And if um, if the headaches get too bad, they'll lead to a migraine and oh, so dramatic. How does that look? Oh, now they're uneven. Just pretend they look cute. But um, this has been super, super good for cooling me down because my work is always hot. Even in the heat waves of summer. Wait, but that, that makes sense. But like, even if it's really, really hot outside, it was boiling indoors. If it's really, really cold outside, it is boiling indoors. No matter what the temperature, it is boiling. So um, this is going in my bag because I need this for work every day. In you go. Oh my God, it's like the same horseshoe shape. It fits in there really, don't know how well you can see. It fits in there really nicely. <laughs> Ooh, how exciting. Next thing, let's just, let's just like lucky dip it. Hope there's nothing sharp in there. Made by Mitchell Liquid Blush. Oh my God. So I said in my decorating, clearing, sorting room out vlog that I was after some orange blush. Do you like it? Do you like it though? Because I freaking love it. I asked this TikToker, where'd you get your blush from? What orange blush are you? I will never forget this. What, what orange blush are you using? And they never answered me. If someone asks you a question about makeup or anything, answer them. It doesn't take much to not be a dick. And now I hate you, you stupid TikToker. Anyway, I put the video up and my sister and my friend Liv both messaged me and loads of you guys as well were like, try this, try this, try this. But my sister and my friend Liv were like, try this made by Mitchell orange apricot hot lip blush basically. And then Liv said, I actually have some and I don't use it. I can send it to you. And she sent it to me. And it came and I put some on, I put it on my hand and it is like, do I have a wipe before I show you? Um, it is, it's orange. But once it's blended out, it goes like this, which is exactly, exactly what I freaking wanted. Yeah, and I'm obsessed. So I put it on my hand, I tried it and I love it. I haven't worn it like all day. So I keep it in my bag in case it needs to be touched up. Cause I usually use the pink one from, I think, Re revolution or collection and when I put that on in the morning that lasts all day so I'm not sure of the longevity of this so I keep it in my bag just in case it needs to be touched up but so far very very impressed this is literally the exact shade of what I wanted see orange and gre green hair and orange makeup I think go so well together especially especially with black and oh in the bag what's next Medication! Medication. Is there any in there? There's two in there. Medication! I, I take 10 tablets a day, so I do have lots of, uh, lots of meds. I, Cause when I'm at work, I've, if, it's really important that I don't run, uh, that I don't miss taking my meds. And sometimes I get them in this bottle, big bottles, and sometimes I get them in blister packs. So if I get them in blister packs, I, I just shove a load in my bag. Um, I have a moon. I think Gina, lovely, lovely Gina sent me this like years and years ago. And I had it glued onto my face, not uh, like Sailor Moon style, not that long ago. And it came off. I only used eyelash glue. I just wanted to be re like really cute. Um, yeah, and it came off when I was walking down the street. And I, I must have just put it in my bag. I don't remember catching it, so I thought I must have, I thought I'd lost it, but I must maybe, I don't know, but I don't want you in my bag, so you can go up there. Oh, Stefania, keeping the aesthetic. Heinz salad cream. Oh, it expired in August of last year. Wow, it's almost a whole year out of date. Deliciously zingy. I bet it bloody is now. Oh, I don't want to chuck it away. It upsets me that Americans don't have salad cream and you don't know the joys of salad cream. It hurts. I used to have a bottle of salad cream in my bag all the freaking time because I worked at Weatherspoons. You used to get like 50% off your food uh, and then they changed it to like one free meal. And I would always put salad cream on my food, but I don't really go out for food anymore because I'm working all the freaking time. And my current job, I would not eat there. So, um, so I don't have the bottles of salad cream in my bag anymore because I don't go out anywhere to use it. If I go around my friend's house, 
in the bin. If I go around my friend's house, they've always got salad cream. And um, if not, I, I use ketchup, I use ketchup. And salad cream is not like mayo. Don't you be coming in my comments. Is it like mayo? No, it's not like mayo. That's like asking me if Futurama and Simpsons are the same. They are not. They're the same that they're a cartoon, but they are not the same. I have Nivea soft replenishing soft hand soft cream soft. Um, I actually stole this from Ben. So my partner Ben used to be a postman and postmans get they get very sore dry hands. They're just sorting out the letters. Ah, paper cut. Ah. And he had really sore dry hands. But he's not a postie any He's not a postie anymore. He was like, I don't need my hand cream anymore. So I stole it off him. I always need hand cream because I work at a bar. My hands get so dry, they get wet, and alcohol is so drying, and it's just makes my fingers look like my finger. I don't know if you can see, I've got like a little bit of blood cut thing on the side of my nail because my my hands get so dry from the alcohol and it just yeah so hand cream is a must that's definitely going in there oh we've got two things three things is that more meds that is more meds bus ticket fair cap adult i don't have a fair cap i don't think i own a cap where did i go boarding stage Ah, oh, that was when I finished work and I had to do the school run. I think they overcharged me, you bastard. Oh. And my keys. I have a trick or treat trolley token, which will go perfect with my, my bag. And we have Tesco club card, scanny thing, which I haven't been to Tesco in so long. We go Asda. But I need to start going little and Audi because I, you know what we just forget about little and Audi like Asda's just really easy for us to get to so we just go to Asda my Robux keyring which has been in every single what's in my bag video if you are an early 2000s goth I mean I'm not now but I was once upon a time you'll know this keyring it's look I've lost the foot of it Robux bags were the thing the thing every goth in the early 2000s had a roebuck corset bag and they came with these little key rings and i had one i can't remember if mine was it was black i can't remember if the inside was i'm guessing it was purple because the key ring is purple but i feel like it was red but it was oh that was that was the days i don't you can't buy them anymore they don't make them anymore if you're lucky you can find one second hand somewhere but they were so they were they are a blast from the past so this key ring will be on my keys forever and i say this in every what's in my bag video this is how i find where my keys are in my bag because I I never look in my bag. I put my hand in, I feel around, I get angry that I can't find my keys, and I feel oh god, I dropped it. And I feel for that key ring. I don't feel for the keys, I feel for the rubber key ring. And it does, you know. Does me good. <laughs> so in the bag with you. Into the cupboard with you now, chip. <gasps> oh, it's wet. <laughs> I forgot the inside of my bag was wet. Vaseline, which has definitely expired. Cosmetic product for moisturization. Yeah, Vaseline, lip balm. My bag is soaking wet. Oh, soggy. Oh, it's a, a bit of paper with my work hours on it. It's because I don't get my hours sent to me. Like I get my hours on a Tuesday for a Tuesday, but my manager went on holiday, so someone else did the rotors. So I got my hours like in advance which never ever happens and i, I wrote them down on a, on a on a now soggy bit of paper and um i should frame this because i never get my hours like this but yeah that's depressing because that's I, I working full time and doing youtube and being a mom and doing school runs it is so freaking hard and and do you know what <coughs> oh my god <coughs> And I'm dying here. And Rishi Sunak, fuck you, Rishi. And, Ri <laughs> and Rishi Sunak has just put up the hours you, I mean, the hours that you have to work from, they were 16 hours, they're now 18 hours. This is affecting a lot of my friends. 
um, who are on universal credit they you, they now have to look for work for 18 hours so one of my friends has just got a job which was 16 hours because that was the cap and she's now got to look for a job for 18 hours and it's like I, honestly Rishi Sunak is determined to destroy this country uh, mini deodorant Nivea black and white invisible I don't know should we, should we try it should we see if it actually does show up on black clothes Ugh. I've just been coughing. I don't really want to do it again. I can see that! I think I've had that for so long because I don't usually use women's deodorant. I use Ben's Link. My bag is soaking wet. I use... <coughs> Sorry. I use uh, Ben's Lynx. Lynx Africa. Because it stays on all day. You spray it under your Brad Pitts and you are good to go for the rest of the day. Um, Carex alcohol uh, um, oh do you know what I've just done a pack with me video for download and I didn't have anti back stuff on it anti back um, so I'm just gonna add that on my shopper list especially having a child you know she loves when the rain when it rains on our way to school our favorite thing to do is to pick up snails not just like pick them up and disrupt their life it, they, this was, they like to cross the road, don't they? The path. When the rain is out, they're like, here comes the rain again. And they have little parties in the middle of the path and they will get crushed. So we walk to school and we look for snails and we move them to safety. And yes, yeah, so you have to wipe your hands, you have to like anti back your hands after the snails. We don't know if he's just come back from a dungeon somewhere. Just because he might be dirty, don't mean we gotta be. Hairband. I was just about to say how ironic because I don't ever tie my hair up and here I am with two turd buns. <sighs> I never tie my hair up to be fair. Um, this is all extensions and my hair is really short and I use little uh, black clips to clip my hair up because otherwise my hair gets the dents in it. Some people's hair you can tell when they tie their hair up because when they take it down their hair has a dent in it and that is what my hair does. So I don't tie it up, I, um, I clip it back, but I've tied it up for this because this looks really cute and now I'm obsessed with this and this is exactly how I'm going to do my hair every day from now on. I was going to say what is this, but of course it's my purse. <gasps> it's my... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get that thumbnail. Oh my god. Let's get that thumbnail, Emily. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Ghost face, you need to get in this. Smile. One of them will do. So, oh, now I want to put this face on it. Like, I've never been a match your thirsty bag kind of person, but maybe I am. This came from Loungefly, and I adore this. I adore this purse, but it's got it's, got its cons. But its cons don't really affect me because I'm poor. So this was gifted to me by uh, Get Ready Comics. It's wonderful. Should we open it? Should we see how much money I've got? Got my organ donor card in there. I've got a receipt for some orange juice and some water. I've got a Cafe Nero card. This is for my friend and my friend Georgia and I. We, whenever we meet up, we go for something at Cricketers, then we do some charity shopping, and then we go to Cafe Nero. It's like all the that is our routine, and it's like three of my favourite things to do all in one day. And we just have a little chat and a little gossip along the way. And I love it. And we have a little card to click stamps of. Um, so eventually, we'll get a free hot chocolate and every three parcels. Oh, this is from Vinted. I hope you got your Vinted parcels because I'm going to chug it away. Bank cards, Tesco cards, Nectar cards. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> and then there's a little zip over here with some money. How much money have I got? <gasps> 50p. It's a 1918 representation of the People Act 50p. Ooh. The thing that I don't like about this purse though is that there is nowhere to put your notes. Like there's no note thing. Um, this bit is for your cards, this bit's for your cards. There's no nowhere to put your notes. Um, 
But as I said, that doesn't affect me because I never, I, ne I never have notes, I never have money. But the purse itself is gorgeous. I'm not gonna get over that because I'm a stupid bitch and I really like stupid things. And it's orange and green. And what was this, what was this twat just saying? Orange and green go so well together. Okay, I might have to put this face on it. No, I'm gonna stick with this one for now. And then just, but that's the thing. I don't have to swap the whole bag over. I've just gotta rip his face off, stick a new one on. Leather face style. Okay, what else we got? Epic Ink, oh, I got, this was on sale. This was on sale. Um, NYX Epic Ink Liner. I don't know if this is the one I use, but this was on sale in Super Drag the other day. So I picked one up. I, I can't remember. I don't think this is the one I use, but it was really cheap and I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. I'm gonna put that on my trolley. Because you don't need to stay in my bag. More, more soggy wet paper. What does this one say? Is it a love letter from Will Ramos? It's the same hours as before. I've just written it down again. I probably wondered where the first one went and, and then read it down again. <laughs> and then a, a receipt. Two bottles of orange juice and two bottles of water. I see a pattern here. A very healthy digestive pattern. Hey, I have, oh gosh, right. I have a bus ticket. Where Where did I go? Oh, it's just the end of a bus ticket. Like the, the card bit. A clip. These are the clips that I clip my hair up with. Oh, I love these so much. Like just, you can, oh, do I want you in my bag? Cause I need you around the house. I need you to do more work around a damn house. 50p, oh, Charles 50p. Ooh, I'm gonna leave that out cause I don't want to spend it. I've got Charles on the back, my best friend. I, I really despise this man. But did you guys see the the painting of him red? Like he had a red portrait done. When they unveiled that, he must have felt like that's what him looking into the depths of hell must be like. Like that was a pure portrait from Satan. But didn't he once say that he wished he was Camilla's tampon so he could be inside her? I am not making this up. Maybe that's what the artist was representing. Charles is the tampon. If that was the vision, I get it. I see it. I don't want it. Reusable shopping bag. <gasps> this has been a lifesaver. I mean, not really, not literally. It didn't save me from the Titanic. I go to like Poundland a lot and Poundland don't have bags by the tills anymore. So if you take stuff to the tills at Poundland, like self-checkout, there is no bags. So you just have to carry stuff. I got this from Co-op. <laughs> just a little reusable bag and it folds up and it is so handy to keep in your bag. And I use this like at least three times a week. Just if I go to Asda or I go to the shops and it's got a little clip on it. I've never used the clip though, but it's just so handy to have it in your bag. Hey, what else we got? We must be coming to the end. An <laughs> another one? Another one? Is that the same one? Did I put it in the screen bag by mistake? See, I just don't look in my bag. I use my fingers and like sense of touch. No, here's another one. Okay, that's that's good. Cause I was gonna buy one to take to download. So you can go in my backpack and I will scrub that off my list. Two things, what we got? Oh, that's Neuromol. The only thing that gets rid of my headaches. I get a lot of headaches because of my eye problem. And Neuromol is the only thing that takes that sharp edge off. It's paracetamol and ibuprofen. It's the only thing that helps. Nivea Cherry Shine, which I have had to stop wearing at work because it entices the old men. I wish I could tell you that I was joking. So this is a uh, lip balm. It leaves like a, a, not even a dark red, like a lip tint, like a soft, red lip tint and I don't wear red lipstick but you can you can tell it looks like I've got something on my lips and there's this dirty old man at my work who would always make comments about oh your lips look very juicy why are you done yourself up for me today and I was like oh my god I can't do this anymore so I've had to stop wearing that to work and switch to Vaseline and it sucks because I really like the smell of that one and it's so much easier to put on rather than put your finger in Vaseline and Men. Another bit of paper, soggy paper. <laughs> the, the another end of a bus ticket. Headphones. How much battery? Ninety-four percent. I think I charged them yesterday, so 
that's good. Hair slides or a dropped one. I don't know why, because I don't really use these. They might be in here from the last time I wore my beret, actually, when I did my tattoo vlog. Because I, I think I had them. I used, because I used, because I've sewn clips into my beret now, like, like, this doesn't come off. But I used to put clip like these to slide under them to keep them on, but I, so might be in there for that. So you can go up there, because I don't need you anymore. Oh, another clip. Something in my bag is really soggy. Ibuprofen! My bag is soaking wet. Another clip! Another receipt from the bus. Fair cap adult, yay! Another bit of paper. This is soaking wet. Another bit of paper with my work hours on it. I don't know why I wrote it down so many times. They probably changed my hours. Oh, what is that? Oh, 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 get it off! Why is it still on my hand? Why is it not coming off? It's on my foot. Oh, no. oh God. Someone call an ambulance. Oh, my hands are sticky now. I need a wipe. It's fine, I'm not gonna die. It's a bit of chewing gum. My daughter bought a pack of chewing gum and then decided she didn't like chewing gum. And I must have put it in my bag. Maybe a bit fell out of the pack. And then I guess because my bags got wet, maybe a bit, I don't know. Let's just put that in the bin. That is nasty. That has made my hand all sticky. So that is um, the inside of the bag done. So now I just have the front. There, it, this is so heavy. There is a small zip compartment on the inside of this bag. So that's what I will put this stuff in. Oh, it's quite deep. So that's good. What we got, what we got? I have three pads. I don't use pads. I use, well, I use reusable pads for my period. So if you come to me and you ask, have you got a pad? I will have a pad for you. I got you sorted. I got you sorted. I have, oh, plasters. I was looking for more plasters because I'm trying to wear in Doc Martens at the moment and it is not going well. I am failing miserably and I ran out of plasters and I've just found some. I should have looked in my bag. Plasters. That's really good to know, so you can definitely stay in there. I'm gonna look at this bit. Oh shit, there is shit loads of plasters. That's a lot of, I was rooting for you. I'm gonna put a plaster on because I am going to wear my Doc Martens when I go out after I've filmed this and it's going to hurt my foot. So I'm gonna put one, some plasters on. But wearing in Doc Martens is literally like the freaking worst. It is the worst. I've I've tried everything. And I'm trying to do it for download as well. Because once they're worn in, they're the most comfortable boots in the world. And I'm failing miserably. More plasters. I will put you in there. Piercing jewellery. Is it sterile? Well, it's probably not now because it's been in here for so long. It was sterilised two years ago. So it's definitely not now. But I'm going to keep you in my bag because it's good to have jewellery. What is that? The bag's broken, whatever it is. Oh, it's a bar. Just a piercing bar with no balls. Um, and then this one is a labrette bar with a ball. I'm gonna keep these in my bag because even though they're not sterile, it is good to have piercing jewelry on you. I'd rather have something to put in my piercing should I lose them than nothing at all. I should add an alcohol wipe into this just in case I do have to put them in. Rogue piercing. I think this is spare jewelry as well. It is, it is. What are you? Ah, it's my old lip bar. Into the cupboard with you. I think we're nearly done. My till key for work. That's unfortunately got to go in my bag. Plastic piercing retainers. These are the devil and I hate them and they are so bad for your piercings. But after I went into hospital last year, it happened so quick. I went into hospital on, was it the Saturday? And then I had to have an MRI and a CT scan and I had to take all my piercings out. And the only thing I could get on short notice to not lose my piercings was cheap plastic. So I, I, I mean, right now I, I do have time to order other quality retainers, but I just won't because I don't want to. But it's it's good to have something just in case I have to have an MRI or something. I've got retainers. 
my work keys because I am trusted at work. I am trusted. I am a key holder. I am a manager at my job. I manage, okay? I manage. I don't know what I manage, but I manage. Access toilet key because I need one. I struggle to go upstairs because with my hyper, with my hypertension, the, uh, with my, with my idiot, uh, idiot, idiot, with my idiot pathetic head, with my idiopathic hyper, idi do you know what, I forget what it's called. With my idiopathic intracranial hypertension going up and down stairs, sometimes I get lightheaded and I can get faint. So access toilets are usually downstairs, so access toilets are for me. Uh, so that can go in my bag. And another plaster, a blister plaster. So I'm gonna put this on my other foot because, well, I've got two DMs to wear in and I have not a lot of time to do it. If you're throwing me to the lions, you should know I'm not in a diet. Oh, we're done! This is like rubbish, paracetamol, fluff in the hair, ferret hair. That's my new bag! I look beautiful! I look sexy! Well, he's a kid, so no, he's not. That got weird. So this is my new post-mortem bag. The zip is even a little coffin. But I'll link the haul at the end of this video so you can get all the information about the bag. I see now I want to wear it as a backpack, but I'm gonna try it as a handbag because I've just I've done backpack life for so long. Do you know what it is? Because I think my shoulders are too droopy. So <laughs> so when I wear shoulder bags, they just do that. There is there is no ledge for them whatsoever. But then that would be the same with a backpack, wouldn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Any any chance to criticise myself and I jump on it. But this is my new bag and I absolutely freaking love it. I'm so sad to see this one go. It's done so well. Where's the strap? Where is it? Where is it? It didn't even break. Like the straps on the screen one are reinforced with canvas. So they are so thick. Like they're, they're, it's not gonna break. But my rats chewed through it. Oh, there. And can you see like, and it scares me so much. So even if I try and pull that apart, that's not coming apart. But it's scared. I said this before, I said it in my haul. It scares me because I'm scared it's gonna break when I'm outside and I'm gonna get final destination somehow. Plus, I wanna use my new bag. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna put it up on this shelf somewhere. Well, put it upside down, let it dry out. And I'm, do you know what? I'll probably come back to it when this one breaks or maybe I'll just move on to a completely new one. Nothing really too weird in there today. I mean, I, I, I've literally been going to work and doing school runs the last few months, so I haven't had chance to collect anything weird. What's the weirdest thing in your bag? I mean, I used to have a vibrator in my bag. I used to have salad cream. I still had salad cream. Maybe I'll accumulate some weird stuff before the next one. I don't know. Oh, I just found my nose chain. <gasps> Like, I, I had it in my purse! I had it in my purse! So I just found it, I, it was under my foot. I've just moved my foot. This is my nose chain that goes from my nose piercings. And I, I wore it out one day and then I took it off and I didn't want to lose it so I put it in my purse and I've been meaning to I've been meaning to bring it in my studio for months and months and months and months, but I never bring my purse in the studio. And I've just found it. Oh, you guys. What a lovely way to end the video. But that is it. I really enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a new bag to show off. It's so heavy. I feel like I didn't put that much in it, but it feels, I feel like it's gonna feel heavier being on my shoulder and I'm gonna definitely end up making it a backpack. But that is it guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you can, please do check out my Patreon because it really, really helps out my channel, keeps me able to do what I am able to do and hopefully what you love to watch. And I will see you very, very soon with another video. Much love boobs, take care of yourself and most of all, stay weird.